Hello, this is the Drone Art Channel. Welcome. For years I had wanted to purchase a drone. I had subscribed to many different YouTube drone channels. I thought it was fascinating. But for some reason I just couldn't pull the trigger. I had known a few people who knew a lot about drones. They said, you know, why don't you wait a while? Because the drones were getting better. They were getting cheaper. I think at the time I wanted to buy a Phantom 3 or something like that. But I waited. Because I figured, you know, if I was going to spend a thousand bucks or so, I'd probably waste my money. Um, it would go into the drink. So I waited and waited and waited. And three months ago, I actually purchased my first drone, which was the DJI Spark. I had looked at different drones looked at the Mavic Air, Mavic Pro, and again, I'm a beginner, so there was no sense in me getting an advanced drone that costs a lot of money, so eventually I decided on a Spark. I actually went to some department stores and looked at those $30 drones, and I realized that wasn't going to be the way to fly, because they look cheap. You'd stick your telephone in there if you wanted to get videos, and I had more sense than that. So through investigation, I purchased a DJI Spark. I think I got it for you know, 400 bucks. I got the controller with it. So <clears throat> I suppose you could say that was a half decent deal. I spent three weeks flying after purchasing it. Did a great job. I I read the manuals, I went slowly, but I made a mistake, and that mistake was, I, well, maybe I did make a mistake, so I, I, wanted, I want to explain this a little bit more in depth. I, I was flying over the bay, I was flying over lakes, I was flying just about everywhere. My wife would caution me and say, you know, you're going to fly that thing into the water one day, and, and that's going to be it. I said, no, I had a lot of confidence in the copter. So everything was going really, really well for those three weeks. And I went to my favorite lake to take some videos. And again, I, I told you in my trailer that I don't really like flying these per se. I really don't. I don't get any excitement of up and down and around and about town. I just like taking videos seeing a different perspective. So, long story short, about the third or fourth time I flew over a local lake, I had a problem. Everything was going fine for the first two and a half minutes. It was in normal mode. I put it up around 100, 150 feet, and I had planned on putting it into sport mode, which I had done before, but I wanted to get a different perspective of the drone going quickly over the water. You know, something like a Miami Vice scene or something like that. And I had done it previously. <clears throat> but for something, for some reason, something went terribly wrong. It was up for two minutes, sport mode. It went probably about 21 miles an hour for about six seconds. Then all of a sudden, Boom. It dropped out of the sky. And and you can just b believe the feelings that I had after having that thing drop. Because I had to go home you know, and tell my wife, guess where I, I put this thing. I, I didn't even know what to say or what to do. So, of course, I came home and my wife said, you know, you're, you're coming home awfully early. Why? I didn't say a word. And she says, you put it in the lake, didn't you? I did. And uh, I thought, wow, $400 right to the wind. In any case, I did get a hold of DJS support. I, did, I didn't necessarily want to, I mean, I would like a new drone, but I wanted to find out <clears throat> what I did wrong because my battery level was at 95%. I hadn't done anything unusual. I did put it into sport mode, but I only flew for 
a few seconds in sport mode and it's just it's like the electricity went out so i contacted them that day i must have been back and forth with their support for over a month at least a month and a half i kept sending files receipts everything they had three different engineers look at the flight logs and they really couldn't find anything because the we, we had the the flight video and everything looked fine and all of a sudden it went to black the only problem was well, there were no png files they kept asking for the png files and i said look there's nothing in the folder and if anybody's had experience with dji you have to go into those folders and send it send your flight records to dji and they're very nice about it i mean it it took a long time for them to finally come to a decision and I was really worried I had seen many many videos people expressing their exasperation with DJI support and I've seen others where they were very very positive so I wasn't very optimistic about my chances of getting a replacement I didn't know it was my fault or not I just I flew the drone not unlike any other day that I flew the drone I didn't do anything wild. And again, the battery level was fine. The altitude was fine. And uh, lo and behold, they finally got back to me and they said uh, it was under warranty and, and given the conditions, they were going to send me a replacement. So, of course, that made me feel wonderful because I don't think I would have gotten another drone after that. I mean, how can you just, you know, piss away $400 to the wind each time? I didn't want to do that. And uh, yeah, they sent me the new drone. And I can tell you, just from my experience, and it's just only my opinion, I had seen one video from a gentleman who had dealt with support. And his video basically promoted the idea that it's best to to be very professional with them, don't demand anything, and be patient. Above all, be patient. And I can't tell you if anybody's out there, if, if your drone goes into the drink, what to do. Aside from that, just be patient. They seem, at least to me, they were very upfront. Um, they gave me a lot of support. It was very professional. I didn't make any demands because, I, again, I didn't know whether it was my fault or not. I didn't see anything that seemed to be something that I did improperly. I always checked the propellers. I put in the battery correctly. I didn't really know what happened. But all turned out well. And I can't say that's going to happen for everybody. But my, my suggestion would be, if you ever deal with DJI, is be patient. And if you're in the right, you'll probably, hopefully, get some good news. But I think that one video that I saw on YouTube was very, very helpful extremely helpful uh, because if I had just made demands I don't know uh, what would have happened but it took a long time it took a long time now as far as that drone it's in about 11 feet of water in fact right behind me well that's actually the lake right now behind me isn't the lake that I sent it through but uh, I'll point it out in a minute or two um, it's in 11 feet of water I certainly wouldn't be able to find it I certainly wouldn't go in the lake because it's very cold and People have died in that lake. Um, maybe one day somebody will get a fishing hook and and get it. I have no real need for it because I have the replacement, and I don't think that the drone at this point in time would be any good. It's been underwater for, for two months now, and I would imagine all the electronic parts were shot. In fact, that is the lake that uh, I think you're going to see it, or you just saw it where there right there so um yeah it's gone forever but i don't really care because they they did me right so i uh, just wanted to tell you my little tale there and i plan on putting a lot more art videos up i have to get more footage but it's a little bit cold and wet out there of late but i will get the footage and um, put some pixie dust on my videos and I think it might be better if I have commentary from time to time. So I hope my advice helps somebody. 
If you're interested in this type of thing, please subscribe. Thank you.